everyone, so I am using baby's birthday decorations as my background today. I just thought it would make it look a little bit different. Um, I am wearing a beanie because this is supposed to be kind of like a wintry classic look, but it's 91 degrees here in Southern California today, so I am sweating, it is so hot. But uh, this is just a really simple, easy look. I feel like red lips, um, this kind of classic look, obviously is really good for a night out or you know, for a cocktail party, but I actually really like it when it's, um, done like in a very casual outfit setting because I feel like it just kind of brings a little punch and a pop and it makes you look put together while still kind of messy and casual. And if you are a fan of the rat's nesty kind of hair, this is a perfect look for you because a lot of days I don't have time to take a shower, let alone like brush my hair or curl it or whatever. So in the winter time, I love hats, I love head wraps, anything you can put on your head. Um, and it just really is a time saver in the winter especially. So um, if you have a toque or a beanie or a hat or a head wrap, um, that's awesome too. And I think it kind of adds to the casual messiness of it, but with a very polished face. So um, this is the face that I'm gonna be showing you guys. If you want more of these kinds of looks, please let me know. I really do miss doing makeup, although I don't miss wearing high heels all day doing people's makeup. But anyways, if you guys want more looks like this, let me know and I hope you guys are all doing well and I'll talk to you later. Bye. When with Revlon Photo Ready makeup and remember that when winter is coming, your skin color does change because um, you, you know your tan might be fading or something. So just make sure you have a foundation that matches your skin. And I don't know what I did with my other brush, so I'm using this one that works all right. But anyways, going into concealer, I use a lighter color under my eyes and then a little bit darker that matches my skin tone on my face. If you have very dark spots or a lot of discoloration, you can use a lighter color on your skin too to counteract kind of that darkness. I apply it with a brush because I feel like it gets into those nooks and crannies a little bit better. And then I usually blend it out with my fingers and that kind of gives a more blended look and blended feeling and if there's any redness a lot of people have um, redness or broken capillaries like around their nose I usually put it on the sides of my nose too and I have little spider veins also in my cheeks that I usually conceal and then I have a couple of age spots that seem to be hanging out longer than I wanted them to so I just like concealing all those little things with a brush and take your time with this because especially with red lips or anything bold on your face you really want that flawless skin um, so that it's not distracting from everything else that you're doing so I just am going to do that and then here I am applying mineralized skin finish and you can use translucent powder whatever powder you like but again try to pat where you put that concealer on or else you'll just be kind of moving around what you just did so this is the mineralized skin finish skin finish by MAC which I absolutely love kind of gives you a flawless finish and then I'm going to move into contouring and I actually bought this a little bit too dark for my skin which is great if you have a product that's too dark just use it for contouring and um, this is the balance and brighten I actually really like the formula of this a lot and I usually do it around my forehead to kind of blend that into my hairline so you don't have that stark contrast between your makeup and where your hairline starts it looks a lot better in pictures and I usually do my cheekbones and my jaw area and my nose as well so just make sure that you blend that in really well if it is a little bit more harsh when you're doing your blush or whatever just make sure that everything kind of blends in a lot uh, better than you know just leaving kind of a streaky mark because you don't want people to see where you put all of that stuff. Now moving into blush, this is Urban Decay Score and this is a blush that's a beautiful peachy color and I always go back to this color and especially with red lips I really like this color because it's very subtle and natural looking and again I'm trying to pat where I put all that concealer and stuff and um, just kind of keep it on the cheekbone and I don't do it too dark when I'm doing a bright lip and then we're gonna go into eyebrows and this is something that I discovered on holiday and this is the infallible um, eyeshadow and I use continuous cocoa on my eyebrows which is awesome because it actually lasts all day long and I really like the formula on it and I kind of discovered this by accident which is sometimes the best way to do it and I know that I show these eyeshadows every time but Girls, good eyeshadow is like a good bra. It doesn't matter how many you have, you can have a thousand, you always go back to the same ones. You know what I'm saying? So anyways, I'm doing my highlight and then I realized that my eyebrows were like 
so unruly. So if you guys have one of these, this is just an eyebrow shaver and it only lasts for like a day. You're going to have to pluck the next day anyways. Very good quick fix though for grooming your eyebrows. And then I just um, am going in with ice latte and bronze taupe to shape my eyes a little bit and I just want it to look natural and I find with these eyeshadows using your fingers actually applies it the best and most natural looking and I'm just trying to add just a little bit of dimension to my eyelids here and then I'm gonna go into eyeliner and I know that this looks so old but I can't find these anywhere they're always sold out so it is kinda of goopy and stuff but I draw my wing a little bit wider and lower probably than most people and it just opens up your eye a little bit and I really like this eyeshadow because even I mean eyeliner even though it is kinda goopy and jelly it lasts all day long until you take it off and it's like super super black so I really really like this eyeliner especially if you're a monolid or someone whose eyeliner smudges this is awesome we're gonna go into eyelashes and I usually buy the eyelashes that as you can see they're um, shorter on the edges and then longer in the middle and these are perfect for cutting in half and turning into demi flare eyelashes and so I just like putting them on the end and these ones are I think they're either short or extra short because I don't want it to look all glamazon I just want my eyelashes to be a little bit thicker and I find that eyelashes that go all the way to the tear duct kind of irritate my eyes and make my eyes water so those are great so here I am lining my lips and this is I think very key to wearing red lips is that you want a very clean nice line um, so take your time with this if you don't have a lip liner that matches um, use a lip brush with the lip stick of your choice whatever lipstick you're using um, yeah use a lip brush and that'll kinda give you that precise line and you can always outline the outer corner with concealer or foundation to give you even a more crisp line and I just kinda fill it in a little bit too blend in that line. I'm using Ruby Woo by MAC which is a very 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 matte lipstick so just make sure that your lips are conditioned and exfoliated. Mine are a little bit dry here I should condition them a little bit more but you just want to make sure that you don't have any flakes or crusties because that's not very attractive and red lips do accentuate yellow teeth so if you are going to be wearing red lips make sure your teeth are looking a little whiter and um, so now my eyelashes are dry so I just curl them and I'm going to be adding mascara and I concentrate on the inner eyelashes since um, the falsies are only on the ends so I just do that and it kinda sticks your falsies and your regular eyelashes together and looks really nice so now here my hair is a mess and this is awesome for winter days that you don't want to do your hair a lot of times you don't want to take a shower in the morning because it's cold outside you don't want your wet hair so if you like the messy hair like I do I usually throw on a, a beanie or a toque and um, then you're kind of ready to go if you like these kind of videos, I will do more of them. I really do like doing it. I will have to probably do voiceovers most of the time because the kids are usually around me playing and stuff like that. So anyways, I hope you guys are all doing well and hopefully wherever you are, it is beautiful out today and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.